Well, Blue Tech obviously is, is the brand name that uh, Daimler Chrysler, along with other manufacturers, are bringing these engines into the U.S. of their vehicles. We have to look from a smart perspective exactly how we would fit into that category. So it's really way ahead of uh, any announcement we'd be making. Uh, but I think a diesel would go over very well. The uh, big, big question, you're a businessman, very, very successful businessman. Given the business case that was existing at the time you made the agreement for this whole deal, what what really attracted you? Well, the one thing that attracted me was that, that Dieter Zetcher was committed personally to SMART. I think he made that publicly. Uh, was he going to spend the money to shut it down, or was he going to spend the money to the future? And there was no question that his options were one that he wanted to go forward with the product. The decision to go with one model I think was critical in my case. Uh, I had the opportunity to look at the technical specifications of the new model versus uh, the previous, the power, uh, the, uh, the longer wheelbase, slightly wider track, uh, the performance, uh, a lot of the enhancements, uh, you know, from the standpoint, uh, standard equipment with uh, uh, ESC, the, uh, the ability to have uh, head thorax uh, airbags, so we could promote this as a safe vehicle, the standard that at the lowest price level, we would offer these uh, particular safety features. And to me, looking at that and then taking the market and understanding the number of dealerships that we thought would be viable and putting that all together in a package, I think that gave me you know, the confidence from a commercial benefit. I've got to be sure that the downstream partner, which is the dealer, that he has a successful model because we'll never be successful as, a, as an OEM or a distributor, if our if our dealer doesn't have a, a case. Well, I guess I guess that we, we I think our brand I think we bring some credibility to uh, to the to the marketplace. We've been partners with uh, Daimler before with Detroit Diesel. Uh, we've had a relationship with them when we started Ilmore and the Mercedes-Benz racing engines in, uh, in Formula One. So this isn't uh, the first time that we've entered into a, to a venture. And I can assure you that our reputation is on the line side by side uh, uh, with DCX. And I like that. Mr. Pansky, what can SMART do for the American traffic? Well, what it can do for the American traffic, I think it's going to do for the, the person driving it. Uh, it gives them the, the versatility not only on highway with lower fuel economy or, or higher the better fuel economy but also the opportunity in the cities to park and this is going to hopefully be a trend that we can see as i experienced in rome a couple of weeks ago we'll see that in new york and san francisco and atlanta and boston and many of the cities around the u.s you just told us that there probably is a version of Brabus. Will that call a Penske version in America or something like that? We haven't uh, decided what the sport version are, would be at this point because you have Brabus, you got AMG, there's, there's a number of brands, but I think we need to focus on the core models. And then what we'll do is we launch the beginning of 08, we'll have uh, specific uh, names for special models. Some weeks ago, I saw in the, at the Brickyard 400 in the pit yard, uh, there, was, uh, some, there were some smarts. Are these cars the uh, crew cars of Penske Racing? What we've done is have our NASCAR uh, guys are uh, using smarts on the weekend at the NASCAR race. We heard it was trendy for the Formula One drivers, so we thought we'd bring it into NASCAR. Thank you. Out?